Hey, uh, this recording is just to show how to set up a path mate. I have a, a slot that I created here um, using two slots together. Actually, I used a, a line and then it, then it did a um, offset to create the slot and then a cylinder. Okay, I want the cylinder to go along this path here. And a couple things I've set up so far are a, a mate, which is a parallel one mate, which means that the, the center axis is parallel to the top plane that means it's going to move it's going to remain in this plane and also um, I set a, a parallel 2 to this plane over here so that it'll also stay vertical otherwise the cylinder is moving all over the place okay um, so if we're to move along this path here you need to set up a path so I'm going to go to um, back to my slot and actually start a sketch on this surface and use an offset and offset from this edge here and reverse that so it goes down. I'll reverse all these pieces like this and then um, I'm going to check mark that and make sure that these are tangents. So we have a tangent um, intersection between these this line, the arc, and the line. Alright, I check mark that. X my sketch. So that's there. I'm going to save this and go to my slot 2A which is this pin here and I actually want to put in a, a point. Uh, when you use a path mate, you need to have a point that follows the path. So I'm going to start a sketch on this surface here and create a point on the in right there. There's my point, X my sketch, so it's there. And then go back to my slot assembly where I have these two pieces now. So I have my path and I have this piece here. Okay. Um, and again, this is moving and, and remaining in, in this direction. If you don't add these parallel mates, it'll like just flop all over the place. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So I'm going to go to mates and create a um, an advanced mate and a path mate. And let me get rid of this. So path mate, uh, the component ver vertex M1 is this one here. I'm going to click on that vertex there. There's my component vertex. And the path selection, if I just click on this line, it's going to only choose that line. So instead, use the selection manager, and I want it to be a, an open loop. So I'll click on this line here. It sees the entire piece now, and I'll check, and check that. And that's using the selection manager. Now see how this pin now has attached itself to the path. When I check mark this, and I pull in the pin now, it follows this path all the way down. It even stops at the ends, which is really nice. Okay. Um, let me check mark that. So that's done. One thing is that on the um, without these parallels, I'm going to right click on the parallel one and like suppress this one and suppress this one as well. Without having these parallel mates on, um, it's just flipping all over the place. Okay, so that's why I did that. I'm going to turn this one on now. And now it's parallel, uh, I believe, to this right plane, but it's still flipping up and down. So if I make this center axis parallel, to the top plane, let's press this one, now it's parallel to the plane down here, and it, it remains parallel uh, in relation to those two planes, and there it is. Um, note that the uh, the vertex has to be on the line, so it has to be, if you want it to be in the slot, the vertex is going to be on the line, wherever the line is, so make sure your line is in the correct position. Alright, and that's it. If you don't want to see the line anymore, um, I think we can just hide the line like that, and there it goes. Um, and it's still back in here, um, right there. I can right click on this and show the line again, and there it is. Okay, so here's the line, and I'll just hide that. All right, I can also hide the point in the same way down here. Here's the point right there. I can just hide that, and it goes away. All right, and I'm still, still working with my path mate. Okay, hopefully that helps. Have a great day. Okay, mm, bye.